Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn Commerce with Namita. I am Namita Mane. Today in this session, let us discuss on what is consent and free consent and what are the provision under free consent. This is one of the topic in M law. So let's start. First, what is consent? Okay, first we'll try to understand what is consent. Now, as per section 10 of Indian Contract Act, consent or free consent of the party to an agreement is one of the essential element of a valid contract. Okay, so to make a valid contract or to make a agreement valid, it is very important in contract that both the parties whichever are involved in the contract they should have a consent and that consent should be free consent okay so now what is consent just remember consent is one of the important ele element in a valid contract now in the indian contract act the definition of consent is given in section 13 and this section 13 states that it is when two or more person, okay, it is when two or more person in contract agree upon the same thing and in the same sense, okay. So, consent means that means when two or more person, when two or more parties or person agree, okay, this word agree upon the same thing same thing in the same sense in the same sense so the two people okay must agree to the thing in the same sense as well now we'll try to understand the consent the definition of consent by one example okay so a and b okay there are two parties in a contract a contract is of what a agrees, okay, agrees to sell his car to B. A agrees to sell his car to B. And now A owns, okay, means A is having three cars. And out of this three car, he wants to sell one car. And one car he wants to sell is that Maruti, okay. So A owns three cars and want to sell the Maruti car to B. Okay, so A wants to sell a car and he, actually he is having three car and out of the three car he wants to sell one car and that car name is Maruti. Okay, Maruti company car he wants to sell, sell to B. But B thinks, okay, means see A wants to sell Maruti car and B thinks he is buying his Honda car. Okay. So, and here B and A and B have not agreed upon the same thing in the same sense. So here in this in this contract there is no consent and subsequently there will be no contract also because if both the parties A as well as B okay if both of them are not agreeing on the same thing in the same sense then there will be no consent okay and there will be no contract also now see a thinks that a wants to sell maruti car to b and but b is thinking that he is uh, a is selling me honda car so here both the parties a is thinking in other way and b is thinking in uh, other way so here both the parties are not thinking in the same sense on the same thing if suppose A wants to sell Maruti car to B and B also wants to purchase Maruti car from A, then it is called as consent, okay. Then it can be called that two parties agree, okay. Means two people agree to same thing in the same sense as well, okay. If A thinks Maruti car and B thinks Honda car, then there is no consent between both of them if a thinks that he wants to sell maruti car to b and b is also thinking that a is 
from a i am going to purchase maruti car then both the thinkings are matching in the same sense then it is called as consent okay next now see consent okay consent involves a union union means a unity of both the parties or both the person or more than two person a unity of uh, consent involves a union of wills and an accord in the minds means in the mind also of the both the parties the same thing is going accord in the mind of parties okay so when parties agrees upon the same thing in the same sense okay when the parties agree upon same thing in the same sense then they are called consents die adim okay consents die adim when people when both the parties agree on the same thing in the same sense then they are called cons consents die adim okay if there is no consent okay if there is no consent from both the parties then there will be no contract okay so to make a contract valid it is very important that both the parties should agree on the same thing on in the same sense then it is called as consent and consent is one of the important element in the valid contract okay now i hope you have understood what is consent okay now what is free consent okay what is free consent now you understood what is consent consent is nothing but agreeing upon the same thing in the same sense now in front of cons consent there is free word okay now what do we mean by free free consent now free consent has been defined in the section 14 of the act means uh, as per section 14 of indian contract act a uh, free consent okay is called as a consent is said to be free okay a consent is said to be free when it is not caused or affected by the following following okay so free consent is defined in the section 14 of the act and it says that consent is said to be free only when okay only when it is not caused or affected by the following first is caution second is so consent is said to be free when it is not caused or affected by the following so if a consent is free and this free consent should not be caused by caution second is undue influence fraud misrepresentation and mistake okay so these are the provisions okay which can make which cannot make a consent a free consent so we will see one by one what is caution what is undue influence what is fraud and misrepresentation and mistake so uh, as per section 14 free consent means the consent is said to be free and when it can be free only if it is not affected by this following points okay it should not be affected or it should not be caused by caution undue influence fraud mistake misrepresentation and mistake so we'll see one by one all these uh, causes first is caution okay now caution means okay caution means using force okay it is you mean it means using force to compel a person to enter into a contract it means that you are forcing a person okay you are threatening that person to enter into a contract now like you are zabardasti se you are uh, telling that person to enter into the contract so uh, so so force or threats are used to obtain the consent of the party under caution that means it is not free consent now like for example uh, there are two person okay a and b okay a wants to sell his car to b 
सो ए सेज दैट यू हैव टू परचेस माय कार फॉर वन लैख रुपीज इफ यू डोंट परचेस माय कार इन वन लैख रुपीज आई विल किल यू ओके आई विल किल यू सो ए इज सेंग टू बी दैट इफ यू डोंट परचेस माय कार इन वन लैख रुपीज आई विल किल यू ओके सो नाउ इफ एंड नाउ B agrees to purchase. Why he is agreeing to purchase? If B does not purchase car from A for one lakh rupees, A will kill him. So what A is doing? He is forcing or he is threatening. Okay, he is blackmailing him or he is uh, uh, giving some uh, warning to B. Okay, so that is what it is. He is agreeing. Okay, he is uh, entering into a contract. He is entering into a contract only because. he is having some force or threatens okay there is some blackmail uh, upon him so he his consent is not free okay he is not willing to enter into a contract he is willing why because he, he is entering into a contract because if he does not purchase car from a a will kill him so uh, so a will kill b that's why b is entering into a contract that's why his consent is what not free so his consent is not free so section 15 okay of the act describe caution as committing or threatening to commit any act prohibit uh, prohibit forbid uh, by the law in ipc okay ipc indian penal code is there if there is any commit okay if there is any threatening which is under the law of indian penal code is no is no is described as caution so unlawfully detaining detaining or threatening to detain any property with intention of causing any person to enter into a contract or to prejudice of any person whatever with the intention of causing any person to enter into any agreement so caution in short it means that you are uh, forcing a person you are blackmailing a person or you are giving uh, or threatening that person to enter into a contract okay so this is what caution okay so caution is what unlawfully you are detaining Uh, a person or threatening a person to enter into a contract without his consent next is undue influence now section 16 of the act contains the definition of undue influence now what this definition states it states that when the relation between the two parties okay when the relation between the two parties as such that okay the relation between the two parties as such that one party out of the two party one party is in the position to dominate the other party and uses such influence to obtain an unfair advantage of the other party it will be undue influence it will be what undue influence see the relationship between two parties and out of that two party one party is in the position to dominate the other party and to dominate the other party and why that party is dominating to other party only for the benefit okay or to take the advantage of the other party that is called undue influence now for example okay let's understand what does this undue influence means by uh, taking one example now there are two people okay one is a and second is b okay so a sold okay a sold his what he sold his golden watch okay he said he is selling a golden watch for only rupees 5000 to whom he is selling to his teacher and teacher name is b okay this is only example a sold his golden watch for rupees 5000 to his teacher b okay and after his teacher promised him good grades okay now see a is selling 
a gold uh, watch to b okay and b is what teacher so he will sell the uh, watch for rupees 5000 to b only means after his teacher promised him a good grades means when the teacher will give uh, a a good marks in his examination then a is going to sell golden watch for rupees 5000 so here the consent of a is not freely okay is not given freely because teacher is saying that i will only give you good marks only when you give me golden watch for 5000 rupees so now a wants good marks okay so to get the good marks okay so advantage of a is what to get the good marks from the teacher he is selling his golden watch for 5000 rupees so his consent is what his consent is not freely he is under the influence of his teacher he is under the influence of his teacher because if a does not sell golden watch to uh, b teacher then teacher will teacher may fail him okay so to to not to fail in the exam to get good marks in exam the a uh, means a is selling his golden watch to the teacher okay so this is what an influence uh, undue influence he is under the pressure okay so one party is dominating to another party so normally you can say the unflu uh, influence can be between uh, parents and children also or maybe between doctor and a patient also because patient a uh, doctor will give him the medicine to the patient okay and patient will be like uh, if a doctor says if you don't eat the tablets then you will not recover from this illness okay so you are under the influence of that doctor and you have to take the medicines to uh, to live a better life okay so now i hope you have understood what is undo influence next is fraud now according to the section 17 of the indian contract act fraud means okay which is wrong okay fraud means when a wrong representation is made by a party okay with the intention to deceive the other party or to cause him to enter into a part a contract it is said to be a fraud now fraud means what when a wrong representation is made by the party to another party means intentionally or intentionally you are cheating to that other party is called as fraud you know the things of between the contract but still you are giving some false uh, pres uh, representation Uh, to the other party and your intention is what to deceive the other party or to cause any harm to that other party now for example uh, a shopkeeper okay for example a shopkeeper he is selling he knows okay a shopkeeper knows that his products is defect okay in his product there is a defect and but still Uh, after knowing that his product is defect defective he is still selling that same product to the customer okay so what he is doing with the customer he is uh, doing the fraud means he knows intention he knows that the product is defective but still after knowing his product is defective he is still selling the product to the customer basically he is cheating his customer okay he is doing fraud with his customers okay so intentionally whatever you if you know that the uh, fact or the situation is false even after knowing the things intentionally you are doing it or deliberately you are doing it or purposely you are doing it is fraud okay next is what misrepresentation okay now misrepresentation is different from fraud now according to the section 18 of the act uh, misrepresentation is when a party 
मेक्स अ रिप्रेजेंटेशन दैट इज फॉल्स और इन एक्यूरेट और इन करेक्ट एक्सेट्रा सो नाउ अ पर्सन और वेन अ पार्टी मेक्स रिप्रेजेंटेशन दैट इज फॉल्स और इन करेक्ट और इन एक्यूरेट बट दैट प्रेजेंटेशन इज इनोसेंट ओके इट इज नॉट क्रिएटेड इंटेंशनली इन फ्रॉड यू नो द फैक्ट यू नो द थिंग्स एंड इंटेंशनली यू आर डूइंग द थिंग्स सो दैट इज फ्रॉड बट मिस रिप्रेजेंटेशन मिस यू डोंट नो द थिंग्स और योर प्रेजेंटेशन इन फ्रंट ऑफ द पार्टी इज not intentionally done okay by your innocently uh, you are doing the things so it is called as misrepresentation Mis misrepresentation is when the representation that is false incorrect or uh, accurate the difference here is the misrepresentation is innocent that means not intentionally not intentionally now for example let's understand misrepresentation by taking one example now p okay p says to q who intends to purchase his land now q p is selling his land to q and q is going to purchase the land from p okay now p says to q okay because q is purchasing the land of q so p says that my land okay my land produce the land which you are purchasing okay so that land produce 5 tons of rice per acre so p is saying to q that uh, the land which you are purchasing okay that land gives okay or produce 5 tons of rice per acre and p believes the statement to be true okay although he has no sufficient ground for doing so and q purchase it uh, q purchase p's land after afterwards okay after purchasing p finds okay p finds that the land produce only 4 tons of rice per acre now in this case p's representation is mis mis representation okay so he is not intentionally he is not telling q that um uh, Uh, the land which you are purchasing is going to give five tons of rice. Okay, he, he innocently he is saying. Okay, so it may be true also or it may be false also. But later on when Q purchase the land, so he finds that uh, the uh, the land is producing only four tons of uh, rice per acre. now second example for misrepresentation you can consider as a show between the shopkeeper okay now shopkeeper uh, the cloth okay uh, if you go to purchase a cloth or for example you go to purchase a dress in a shop okay now the shopkeeper has purchased this particular dress from one supplier so while shopkeeper takes the dress purchase the dress from the supplier at that time the supplier says that you are taking this dress and this dress uh, if you wash the dress uh, particular dress the color will not go the supplier has said to shopkeeper that if you sell this uh, means uh, the whatever dress you are taking and the customer will purchase so whatever the clo uh, the cloth or the dress is the color of that cloth will not go after the wash the supplier has said to the shopkeeper and same thing the shopkeeper tells to the customer that this dress or this material cloth uh, this particular dress color after wash the color will not go but uh, the customer purchase and customer finds that the uh, color has after the wash the color has gone okay now here the shopkeeper did not do it intentionally okay because whatever information which he has received from the supplier the same information he has uh, provided to the a uh, customer so the uh, information uh, which he has given to the customer he, he did not give it intentionally okay he he gave in a non intentionally way or in a innocent way clear now next is the last is mistake okay mistake means what 
when the consent of one or both the parties to a contract is caused by misconception or erroneous belief the contract is said to be induced by mistake okay now what is mistake now when the consent of one or both the party either so the mistake can happen in the contract by one party or by both the parties also and this contract or this consent is caused by misconception means without knowing the thing or by by mistakenly or erroneous belief means from beginning uh, they are uh, thinking uh, the uh, uh, from beginning uh, erroneous belief means from starting or from beginning the both the parties are thinking wrong about a particular thing okay it is said to be induced by mistake now for example okay for example a uh, for example on monday okay for example on monday uh, a says to b that i will sell my bicycle uh, i will sell my cycle bicycle on wednesday for 5000 rupees but means a say on monday a is saying okay on monday on monday a is saying to b okay that on wednesday on wednesday i will sell my bicycle for rupees 5000 okay but in between monday and tuesday monday and wednesday there is tuesday and a's bicycle uh, is miss is missing means a's bicycle is robbed by uh, some other person now here a as well as b uh, is not aware okay so is not aware about that the, his bicycle may be robbed by someone so here the mistake is not by the a also and not by b also okay the mistake is by the third person who has robbed the uh, bicycle no so this is the mistake which can happen by both the parties you say normally okay that uh, by mistakenly sorry by mistakenly you have got hurt by mistakenly i have written over here okay so you are not create doing that mistake purposely or deliberately unknowingly uh, the uh, misconception is happening okay so this is uh, the uh, provisions of uh, free consent so i hope you have understood all the consents uh, all the uh, what, what, i hope you have understood what is consent second the free consent and what are the provision under the free consent okay so thank you very much uh, i hope you have understood the this lecture properly uh, please subscribe my youtube channel like and share the video and please do not forget to press the bell icon to get the latest notification thank you